identify with them. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Uh, Deputy President, all protocol observed, good morning. My name is Vincent Wabwire, as uh, Agatha has said. I'm a consultant working with open business. At your question, Kenya and UN, they have different meanings. But as you've said, besides uh, the, the age limit, We must agree that being, being a youth doesn't mean you, you, you be lazy and you be careless. It means you have the energy, you have all opportunities to build capacity, to take each and every opportunity that present itself, and also to create healthy relationships with uh, people across the globe. Uh, from that it means as a young person you have all time to do what you can have the energy you must be very active in matters governance matters business I mean you have to be diverse basically that's what I would say other than just uh, being between the age of 18 to 34 thank you so I guess I'm youth because um, I am energetic all those things he has said I, I subscribe to them Beatrice Karibu Beatrice, you studied community health at Technical University of Mombasa. Yes, I did. But you're now working as a legal transcriber. Sure. And there's been a lot of conversation with, I was about to sound like a parent and say your generation, with youth around how you do not get the jobs which you studied for. Yes. Is there anything in what you, ha you studied at Technical University of Mombasa and your work as a legal transcriber that's similar? What are your experiences around not just looking for a job, but finding a job that's very different from what you studied? Uh, basically, thank you very much for welcoming me here. Uh, the Deputy President, Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, and all protocols observed. Uh, good morning, everyone. Okay, I'm Beatrice Auma Ochien. Uh, I studied community health and HIV management, currently working at Adept Technologies. Uh, I'm a transcriber, a legal transcriber, uh, that is, uh, a resident of Kibra, that popular slum. Yeah. Uh, basically, finding a job, being a youth and finding a job is, we mostly, we, we rely on, uh, we have, the community has made that mentality of uh, getting a job. When a youth works, when a youth comes from the school, he or she has this mentality of getting a job immediately. And that's not it outside here. Uh, basically, what I do and what, uh, what I did in school and what I do right now, they are similarly but, but not that similarly because mostly we are working on uh, pro right now we are, we are I'm doing legal transcription of which that is making giving people justice because what I transcribe uh, will somehow some somewhere give someone justice because we're in part partnership with the judiciary so I don't think they are similarly. Community health, I think, is far much different from what I did. But basically, I'd just say hard work and open-mindedness uh, can take someone far, because one needs just to be open-minded as a youth. You, you don't have to have that. We call it a kilifinyu in Kiswahili. Uh, that, that's... Sm being small-mindedness, small you just have to be open-minded because as, as a youth, youth basically means change, future development. Yeah, that's basically it. Future development, that brings me to Nuru. So Nuru, you're the founder of Little Innovators Academy, Little Innovators School. Is that just a fancy name for your school or is there a story behind it? Thank you very much, Agatha, the Deputy President, dignitaries or protocols observed. Good morning. 
My name is Nuri Luhindi, and I'm very passionate about mentoring people and organizations to their maximum potential. This is what led to the birth 